chasing the police every single day. A Byron woman says her five pet pigs are dead, and she believes a Peach County deputy is responsible. She says it happened after the miniature pigs escaped their pen. Kayla Solomon reports the owner just wants to know what happened. We poured pig food in there, hoping they were going to come home. Cheyenne Fagery recalls the morning when her five mini pigs went missing. She says it was less than an hour after she fed them breakfast. And it was around 8 o'clock. We instantly ran out there and started searching in the woods and everywhere around their cage. Um, it was about an hour we were looking back there and then we started driving the neighborhood and asking people outside and no one had seen them. But she later found out from a neighbor that Peach County deputies were dispatched to a home nearby. Her family's pet pigs were all shot and killed. In a statement from the Peach County Sheriff's Office, there is an active internal investigation going on since at least one officer was involved. An incident report from the sheriff's office says a neighbor called claiming there were wild hogs in her front lawn. When deputies arrived around 8 a.m., they attempted to round up the pigs. The report for one officer reads, We believe the other hogs would leave once the first one was shot, but they did not. All they did was get agitated and run around in the same area. All animals were shot and removed from the property. Fagri says since she posted about the killings on social media, she's received a lot of support. I think everyone's just as heartbroken as I am and wondering why. We just don't know why, especially all of them, to being literally this big, just eight pounds. Now she wants answers. In Byron, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Cheyenne Fagri says her largest pig, Petunia, was 50 pounds, and the two youngest, Yoda and Chewy, were just three months old and eight pounds each. Peach County Sheriff Terry D says they are investigating the killings and do plan staff training on responding to livestock calls. We just don't know why cops show up to neighbors' home, kill families' five tiny pigs. Two of the pigs killed by the deputy were just three weeks old and weighed only eight pounds. By Matt Agarist, January 3, 2019. Byron, Georgia, a woman is seeking answers this week after Peach County deputies showed up in her neighborhood and shot and killed her five small pigs. Cheyenne Fagra is now grieving after the deputy made the sick and sadistic decision to kill all five of her small pigs, Chewy, Petunia, Rusty, Wesley and Yoda. Fagra explained that her neighbor called the deputies for help rounding up the pigs not to kill them. She noted that the pigs were only loose for about an hour before the deputy showed up and opened fire on them. It was around 8 a.m., we instantly ran out there and started searching in the woods and everywhere around their cage. It was about an hour we were looking back there and then we started driving the neighborhood and asking people outside and no one had seen them, she said. Fagra explained to WMAZ that she has since filed a complaint with the Peach County Sheriff's Office. She says they are now looking into whether the deputy was justified in his use of deadly force. According to WMAZ, an incident report from the Sheriff's Office says a neighbor called claiming there were wild hogs in her front lawn. When deputies arrived, they attempted to round up the pigs. The report from one officer reads we believed the other hogs would leave once the first one was shot, but they did not. All they did was get agitated and run around in the same area. All animals were shot and removed from the property. Fagra posted about her pigs being killed on Facebook and she's received an outpouring of support. After reading through her posts, Fagra thought her pigs had been missing for days. As she searched for them, hanging up flyers and talking to neighbors, she had no idea they had been killed just an hour after they got out. Once she found out the pigs were slaughtered by a deputy, her heart was broken. My domesticated pigs were shot by an officer of Peach County Sheriff Department when reported in someone's yard. They were missing for an HR or less when killed, Fagra wrote on Facebook. I love you my sweet babies and I'm so sorry. Rest in peace Petunia. Wesley, Rusty, Yoda, and Chewy. My heart is forever broken. Showing the unnecessary nature of the killings was the fact that some of the pigs were babies and weighed less than 8 pounds. Everyone's just as heartbroken as I am and wondering why, we just don't know why, especially all of them, two of them being literally just 8 pounds, she said. According to WMAZ, 
Peach County Sheriff Terry D. says they are investigating the killings and do plan staff training on responding to livestock calls. While the Free Thought Project has reported on numerous instances of police officers killing animals, in our many years at it, we've never seen a cop kill five pigs, including two babies. This is truly disturbing. However, we have seen police kill a groundhog after claiming it was acting oddly. We have also seen police officers shooting kittens in front of children. According to the North Ridgeville Police Department in Ohio, the police did nothing wrong when they discharged their weapons a few feet away from children in order to euthanize five kittens in 2013. Also, last year, Matt Minnick, a small farmer in Portland, learned the hard way about police killing animals after a Washington County Sheriff's Office deputy feared for his life and shot and killed his top breeding goat an animal that fills petting zoos across the world. In 2015, another Washington County Sheriff's Office deputy shot and killed a 30-year-old pony, leaving a family heartbroken. The department was then caught covering up what really happened. Sadly, the list of family pets who've met an early demise is far too long. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.